Coin Battery by Sneha, Sophia and Fiona. We are representing Dubai College. So what do you need? We need copper coins, cardboard and foil, a voltmeter, crocodile clips, vinegar and something to power up. So let's get started. Start off by collecting some copper coins. Make sure they're clean before we use them. Next, trace out the copper coin on a piece of cardboard. Cut it out into pieces like this. Next, do the same to the aluminium foil. Now we're going to want to soak our cardboard cutouts in vinegar. Now we have our equipment ready. To start off the battery, we're going to want to place a copper coin on a clean surface, followed by a cardboard cutout. Then we're going to place the aluminium foil on top of it. We're going to end the cell by placing another copper coin. Keep on building and check it with the voltmeter until you have at least 3 volts, enough to power an LED lamp. Connect the wires at the top and bottom of the battery and the other ends to the object to be powered. In this case, it's an LED. As you can see, the LED is quite powerful. If you want, you can also power up a pocket calculator. As you can see, I'm just removing the battery and connecting it with the two wires instead. Now you can see that the calculator is turning on. If you have enough volts, you can even charge your phone. So how does it work? The battery consists of a copper penny, vinegar soaked cardboard and tin foil. The coin acts as copper, the foil acts as zinc and the cardboard acts as an electrolyte between the terminals. Each stack represents an individual cell. Together it forms a battery. Thanks for watching.